Oh, good evening, y'all. It's Target Individual, CJBK. It is 5.51 p.m. January 9th, 2023. I know many other TIs have probably been in this situation. And I know I've probably watched some videos and, and heard everyone's testimonies about what they went through or how they had to deal with it. But it's just, it's just, it's, <laughs> I'm like, only God, only God can keep me the way that I am right now and still know every, know what's happening. And knowing that so many people are either in denial they're either in denial or they can't seem to grasp the magnitude of what's happening or they're actually <laughs> they're actually going along with the whole thing probably to either save themselves or they're going along with it because maybe it's just the easier thing to just like you know um I don't know but it's like between, I mean, it's like, how do I put this? I'm glad I, I at least know so much of the, the biblical and the spiritual aspects of, you know, humanity and it's numerous downfalls. Um, as a first world country, as a first world country, how is it, how is it possible That millions of people either are working as a network to basically carry out a genocide against innocent people. How is it possible that millions of people are in denial? of people who are presenting actual facts that a genocide is being carried out. And I mean, they're swearing up and down. That's not what's happening. And then how is it that there are millions of people who, It's like you got the ones who are carrying out the genocide. Then you got the ones who want to deny the genocide. And then you got the ones that basically, well, I don't know. There's a third group there. Oh, right. I guess I, guess I ought to just include us. We're the ones the genocide is being carried out against. The genocide and, and the social engineering and the human trafficking by electronic means. And for the love of God, I can't seem to understand how it's gone on so far and so long. Like as someone, I don't, I'm not, a, I don't even study Qigong or Prana or or, you know, um, understanding the energy that's produced by the human spirit. I haven't even been studying it that long. And yet, I am able to actually detect direct energy frequencies with the very energy produced from my body. How is it that, for whatever reason, <laughs> Havana Syndrome is still a pretty big mystery to so many people? How is this possible? How is it possible that 
just a guy from Brooklyn, New York, who don't know nothing about technology, who don't know, who's not a violent person. I don't really care about money. I'm not looking for fame. I don't want, I don't want wealth. I just, I just want to live. I just want to live a decent life. I just, I just want to live and not have, not, you know, I just want to live a decent life. That's all I want. That's all I ask. That's all I want is just to live a decent life. But yet you can't live a decent life. Why? Because there are millions of people who actually would rather want to try to control a population of people like their like avatars or or sim characters and you know simulation characters in a video game or you know and it's like It's like from the numerous, the numerous lives of, of, of targeted people or, or victims per se, um, and, and, and whether they get V2K or, or it's just like, you know, regular on hand gang stalking type stuff, how is it possible? How is it possible that the very same people that basically the very same people that basically <laughs> give <sighs> I'm trying to find the right words because it's like it's it's like it's not enough that there's the there's the 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 violence and anxiety and the 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 over the over sexuality and 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 all this stuff that's already present right in your face it's all over tv it's all in entertainment it's all it's you know you can't even go can't even go to a corner store and 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 like see like a potato chip commercial or a potato chip ad or something without seeing a woman with big breasts or something like that. Everything is just so... <sighs> you know what? But the thing is, this is why if you read scriptures, especially like the Bible, it tells you earth, earth is the battleground between light and dark. Earth is the battleground between good and evil. Earth is the battleground between up and down. Earth is the battleground between beginning and end. It's like... What makes it even worse? What makes it even worse? The very same people who were systematically oppressed for probably decades, right? Decades. I'm talking decades. The very same people who were probably systematically oppressed for decades are the very same ones who got coerced. Not even coerced. They basically felt they basically got, you know, um, pressured into becoming oppressors of themselves. Or not of themselves, themselves. Like the very same people who probably don't want to be out there doing, you know, committing certain crimes. They're now being, I guess, well, contracted out or hired by the very same people who literally put them and their lives in the situations that they've been in for decades or their families, the situation that their families, generations have been in. Now they're being basically tricked into killing, oppressing, and, well, finding entertainment out of demoralizing the very same people which God put on this earth to actually help maintain peace in this world. So it's like... It's like, imagine, you know what? 
when I think about it, this is probably this is probably what's going to happen. I mean, I don't know, but it's like when I think about it like this, because for TIs, um, and other and other victims who who uh, or people who just don't even know that they're you know being targeted, there there's a lot of people still like not even aware that they're probably being targeted. That's the worst part is that there's so many people who don't know. There's so many people who don't know that they're that their whole nervous system, everything about them, you know, their whole consciousness is already connected to a cloud server, and they wouldn't, they have no idea. And it's like, I mean, I'm going on like this because um, I have put forth so much effort into learning as much as I can, not just about the technology, but also about spirituality and psychology. Because like I've said in very in previous videos, we are in a warfare on three different fronts. It's a technological, well, I'm gonna do it in the order that I said in, in a previous video. First, it's the spiritual warfare spiritual meaning vibrational frequency um meaning uh if you have been going through your life never learning how to actually manage your vibrational frequency and meaning your emotions or your um your energy potential to think or manifest things into your life if you've never learned anything about how to maintain or control that type of power that you were born with, you lost that one. So that's the that's the first that's the first one that comes at you. That's the one that mostly you 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 hear about when it comes to like religion or or um you know spiritual studies, things of that sort. You know, that's the one that science is still always trying to see if it can understand more and more. Um, and yet there's still so much that science won't be able to understand about it. Be because it's like when I think about it, well, I've been winning that front for, <laughs> for, for basically all my life when I think about it. I've been winning that front all my life. Cause I I feel like I've always known I was spiritually blessed. I am spiritually blessed. I I thank God for blessing me because I I always felt like I was spiritually blessed. And I and I got I just got goosebumps. So I know I'm I know I'm telling the truth. And then you got number two. Number two is the psychological warfare. The psychological warfare is basically where things are literally position placed in front or or even subliminally um used to stimulate or to program an individual or a body of people into believing thinking and act or reacting in in a particular way And I love and I love that they're listening and they're and they're and they're basically commenting too because I like that. I like that. That lets me know that they're giving me power. They're giving me power. I love the fact that they always remind me that the whole the whole city is watching you. New York City is watching you. The whole secret society is watching you. That gives me power. I love that. I'm 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 growing more and more into the person that I'm becoming. Remember, I'm not a violent person. But I do try my best to be non-confrontational. I do my best to be non-confrontational. And I think one of the one of the main things would be is be the one of the main reasons why I try my best to be non-confrontational is because um one, I don't like hurting people. And two, um, well, I don't like getting hurt myself. But uh three I don't like the idea of if someone is trying me 
and I don't want to hurt you. And then if at some point I may actually have to hurt you, and, and I'm the type of person, I'm not going to hurt you in the way that you think I'm going to hurt you. No, I, re I realized a long time ago, I am very calculated. I am not going to hurt you in the same way that you're probably used to getting hurt. I mean, if you want to believe in astrology and all that stuff, a Pisces will hurt you in a whole totally different way. You wouldn't even you wouldn't even realize that you're you're, you're already being hurt. I literally will like like the way I the, like the way I can hurt somebody, but I never want to. Is like it's like taking taking like a like a like I don't know. It's like taking a needle that's been like dipped in some type of poison not an injecting needle but like a little like a little like a little uh like a sewing needle dip it in a poison and prick somebody just one time that's i probably shouldn't be saying that um that's a terrible example and then and then watching you basically get exactly what you deserve because I kept trying to back away because you want to be confrontational and I don't want to be confrontational, you know, and it's like, I do my best to not be like everyone else. I just want to be myself. I just want to be, I just want to be Chris James, you know, I just want to be Christopher James. That's, I, I'm not trying to be with no group. I'm not trying to be like anybody else. I just want to be myself. I want to be happy-go-lucky. I want to be a hard worker. I want to be loving, family-oriented. You know, um, I don't want to be vengeful. I don't want to be full of hate and anger and, and anxiety and... Um, you know, full of, I guess, greed and, and, well, anything that's low vibrational. I don't want none of that. But yet, we live in a world where we have so many human beings that are so corrupted. Like, their spirits are just so fully corrupted. Their spirits are corrupted. Their mind is corrupted. And then let's go ahead and get into the third warfare, right? The technological the technological warfare. That's the one, that's the last resort one. That's the one where <laughs> the technological warfare is the one where <laughs> if they couldn't get you on the first two, they're banking. They're banking on that third one. You're going to crack on a third one. They're banking on the fact that you're going to crack on a third one. Why? Because the majority of our, or at least this society, the way this, you know, uh, country or, or some, maybe some, some of you other TI's countries, you know, if you live in a um, pretty, you know, modernized, you know, um, town, city, country, whatever, you know, um, everything is moving digital. Or everything is, you know, being involved with technology. So they're thinking if they can't get you on the first, the, the psychological and the spiritual, they're going to get you with the technological and basically try to shut you out. Um, covertly. That way. And, um, you know, um. I learned that uh, one of the best one of the best things that I've I've learned in my so far two going yeah going on just past two years of being targeted is that um, you have to know what it feels like to find your neutral place, or you have to learn how to actually be able to pull your frequency up higher. 
because there's so many things all around us. I mean, you got to remember, especially if you live in a smart city like New York or or um, I guess you could consider Chicago to be one or or maybe Los Angeles. I don't know. San Fran. I, I don't know how many smart cities there are, but, you know, if you're in a smart city, that means you're surrounded by um, electronics, frequencies, um, sensors that are placed, you know, in most various places, whether it's street lamps or, or, or cell towers, digital cell towers, um, you know, various different places. And then all of these devices, they all give off an electromagnetic field that works against living organisms' natural electromagnetic field. Is radio like like electronic devices are radioactive to living organisms. And I'm thinking to myself, like I've done so much to try to learn everything that I could to at least keep me going, right? And then I and then whatever I learn, I try to give and teach to everyone else. And you know the thing is, I can't I know and I learned I can't force anyone to take in what I tell them. I tell myself, look, I'm I am a master at protecting my peace. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you maybe once. No, I'll probably tell you twice, maybe three times about what you can do to help yourself in, in, in a situation. But after that. I'm not going to like like I'm not like I'm not going to you know keep repeating myself. Then on top of that, if if time continues to pass and you still complain about the same thing and your situation doesn't change and I see you haven't really started making a difference but every time I, I you know I come around you you're always still sad, you're always still doing this or you're always like I don't know, you're living a low vibrational life. I got to distance myself because your low vibrational energy is going to have an effect on my high vibrational energy. Now, um, you know, um, it's a lot of people it's a lot of people, and they, and here's the thing: the one thing I learned about so-called secret societies is always secrets that everybody within that society don't know. Secret agendas, secret plans, because there's just like there's a hierarchy in our regular society, there's a hierarchy in their society. And one thing I know for sure is that whatever they think. <laughs> That's going to happen, like, like, cause they, cause it's a lot of them. It's a lot of people. But I know that there's a hierarchy, so wherever there's a lot of people who are all thinking that they're, you know, they're sitting, they're sitting pretty because they're they're over some people. There's always somebody above them that believes they're sitting even more prettier than the ones that they're on top of. And then usually um, at some point, when you live a life full of greed, when you live a life full of like, you know, desires and, and wants, you know, you're not someone who actually is looking to just make sure you have what you need. You're, you're somebody who needs to have more, more than you actually need. It always eventually starts to get like the anxiety starts to grow. You know, you start to feel like it's getting crowded or you start to feel like, hmm, 
I could have more if we didn't have so many of them. That's just human history. That's just, that's like, that's just, that's just common understanding of human, human beings in general. It's like when you create a society that operates on or, or a system that basically operates as, you know, there's a smaller group at the top, a just, just slightly bigger group under them, slightly bigger group under them, and then a big group under them. Usually at some point, because, you know, of course, if that, some people are always going to want to climb up. People are always going to want to climb up. And people will climb up. People will climb up. But then at some point, those few at the top, they start to think to themselves, it's getting crowded. It's too many. We need to cut some ends. And I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, you know what? And this is this is at least the societal outlook on, on the whole idea of, you know, how human beings tend to handle each other. Uh There's never any time, and, and especially when it comes to money, <laughs> when it comes to money and power. If you are people who thirst for money and power, there will never be an end to me. Why? Because you will never be satisfied. You will never be satisfied and you are more likely to fall on your own knife more times than likely because you are so busy always chasing, chasing, chasing. Now I hope I, I'm I am you know I'm asking God right now to make sure that my words are as powerful as 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 you know any as powerful as God. May God give my words the strength and the energy to be just as powerful as the creator and I'm thinking to myself a lot of these people don't realize they're still expendable a lot of these gang stalkers a lot of these um, secret society members they still don't realize they're expendable they still don't realize they're expendable. They still don't realize you're still in a slave-like mentality. Because think about it. Most of them would not be a part of it if they weren't coerced, threatened, or told, if you just do this, we're going to give you this. You are still in a slave-like mentality. It's probably just put together a little bit differently got a, got some bells and whistles got a nice little bow and ribbon on it i just got some more chills so i feel like i'm about to say something real continue chasing all you want continue chasing but i guarantee you whether i'm dead or alive i will have more peace I will have more peace in my soul than you will ever have in at least three of your family generations. Why? Because you are training, you are training and you are teaching people to basically live low vibrational. The fact that the fact that they're actually teaching people, they're they're coercing people and they're forcing people to leave natural ways of living to basically become dependent on something that's not even real something that's not even real something that's not even godly they're basing their entire lives on something that the sun can destroy <laughs> 
not even not even the sun itself just if the sun sneezes hard enough <laughs> i'm like if the sun sneezes hard enough everything that they have fought killed robbed did everything for to get if the sun sneezed hard enough or even worse even even better what if another country or, you know what, most of these countries are all in cahoots because, you know, secret societies run countries too. So let's just say some group within the secret society decides, well, we want to actually take over that land. We understand that you're running that land, but we just decided we want to take that land. And then next thing you know, some beef happened. And then all of a sudden, what's that in the sky? An EMP attack knocks everything out. Now everyone's back to zero. Everyone is back to zero. Usually in those times, those who depended on everything that is not of God are the main ones who actually go out killing. They're either killing or they kill themselves. Hmm. You know, um, and they're they're basically listening to Muslim. That dude is crazy. Da 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 or or, you know, they're basically trying to, they, I mean, because I, I, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a live broadcast. So they're basically, you know, they're basically watching me like it's the Truman Show. I mean, but y'all know this. Yeah, 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 T.I.'s already know this is a, like everything about our lives is a live broadcast. And then, you know, basically, well, I mean, to be honest, everyone's life is a live broadcast when you think about it because everyone is uploaded to the cloud server. Every single person, well, probably every single person uh, around the globe, unless you live like in an indigenous tribe or you or some minimalist lifestyle somewhere in nature or whatever, where you're basically nowhere near much of this technology and, and, and electronics and stuff like that. But just about everybody is like already has a digital like avatar that is like a mirror of themselves um, online, you know, and and then it, and it's funny because they're always saying he be talking about people, but I'm like. Anything that ever comes out my mouth is never without merit. It's never without fact. And it's never without good reasoning. If you are doing something that seems immoral and I think it or I say something about it, I feel like that's that's first of all, that's my first that's that's my right to free speech. But obviously, um, you know, in the United States, uh, it seems like the Constitution don't necessarily matter anymore because we have, well, man, look, JFK was trying, but they took him out. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, John Lennon, Prince. Michael Jackson, uh, Princess Diana. I don't know. There's there's a there's a number of different people who are really trying to let people know about these Satanists, um, that are basically creating the world that we're seeing now. And I know there's been there's some people out there who's been actually paying attention to the world and realizing like yo. There is something very, very weird in the air when it comes, and like, and there's something very, very weird in the air, and it's like, yes, 
there is something very weird in the air. That's because that is your that is your spiritual instincts letting you know you need to get your vibrations high and learn how to keep them high. Because what's about to come, because what you're sensing is the shift. You're sensing the shift that is happening all across, not just the globe, but in the universe. <laughs> People don't realize that, you know, everything happens in cycles in this universe. There's nothing ever really brand new. Everything just happens in cycles. So, um, one thing I probably should finish off before, um, I get off this is this. Always remember you cannot control anything. You can't control everything that's outside of you. And you can't control people. What you can control is what you do, what you think, what you say, and how you feel. And yeah, well, yeah, I was gonna say what you put your what you put your focus on, but that is what you do anyway. But yeah, those are the only four things that you are universally allowed to do you are allowed to control what you think what you do what you say and how you feel those are the four things those are the four things you are universally allowed to do because usually if you try to if you try to do anything extra you're always going to come you're always going to end up going through a much harder harder uphill climb or you're gonna you're basically gonna be trying to walk through uh a, you're, you're basically gonna be choosing a harder way to go about things the more you try to control things that you know if you were to pay attention you actually don't have control over that thing but you're still trying to control it you're going to end up running yourself into the ground You're gonna run yourself into the ground. And they're all and they're all like a lot of people who lost respect for you. And I'm like, look, I'm glad I gave up that part of my life where I where I used to always wanna, you know, try to be appeasing to people and whatnot. I'm glad I gave that part up in my life because I I have found so much more peace in my life since I started, since I gave all that up. Because it doesn't make sense. Why would you wanna to try to appease anyone? Who's actually looking for people to appease them? Why would you try to help someone who, who... Why would you try to give so much of an effort to try to help someone who isn't trying to help themselves? Why would you try to put so much energy into someone who actually would just rather just make themselves into a victim... And then steal and absorb whatever energy that someone had sympathized with them and then gave to them. Notice how they're getting louder now, right? This is what I'm about to tell you, right? I'm about to tell you this one thing and Lord God, guide my words, guide my words because... I want this one. I want this one to ring. I want it to ring. Because I know like with everything that my mother's going through, I mean, she's been she's been targeted mostly because, you know, one, she's a she's a she's a black woman from the south in America. And and she actually reported someone um she reported uh uh someone um for sexual for sexual harassment back in the eighties, and then that and then her targeting basically you know been 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 like that ever since, you know. Um.
His eyes is open. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Lord, guide my words because these last, these last words, uh, I want them to ring. I want them to ring. I want my, I, <laughs> my mother used to say this all the time. She used to always be like, give me a place to stand and, and I will move a mountain. <laughs> She used to always tell me that when I was younger. Give me a place to stand and I will move a mountain. It's like I'm trying to find the right words. <laughs> Respectfully love yourself. Hold yourself accountable. And trust your spiritual discernment. Because when you were born into this world, you were born with so many gifts and so many powers. But because there are people and entities that are that rule this world they saw you coming already they saw you coming so they've been plotting on your life you're they've been plotting on you your entire life they knew they knew that when you they knew that from your parents dna they knew what you were capable of they knew exactly what you were capable of so the person that you are right now you are either the person who you are supposed to be or you are just scratching at the surface of who you can possibly be. And what I'm referring to has nothing to do with material gain. What I'm referring to, to has nothing to do with material gain or power in this in any sense of the way that you're thinking of i'm gonna let you know right now that whenever i say watch god work and you do everything that you are supposed to do to be as peaceful as you can and you move a certain way that doesn't that you know that literally is not the same as everyone else because always remember never trust a majority never trust a hive mind never trust what everyone thinks you have to be responsible for understanding the truth of what something or someone really is. Because I kid you not, more times than likely, God and the universal powers that be will do things in your life that will place, that will strategically move you this way while everyone is over here. And while you're thinking 
you're being moved over this way and things things look bad things look rough but everybody is over here looking happy and whatnot trust and believe more times than likely and and this is i kid you not netflix watch ancient civilizations it's a documentary about ancient civilizations basically If you find yourself over here, and it may seem lonely or whatever, or, you know, because for whatever reason, um, maybe, be, well, most of the time it's probably because you grew up with certain things and being around certain people and doing, you know, whatever. But now, as, as you've been getting older or whatever, you've been slowly coming over here, but everyone's over here. Trust the process. Because what you don't know is that in the future, you were exactly, you are exactly where you are supposed to be. Because when things start happening to all of them, you were over here. And that's just the way the universe and God wanted you to be, is over here. The Bible says the meek shall inherit the earth. Those who suffer the most, those who can actually endure and not curse God, those who can actually go through everything that the world and those who basically are controlling the world. Remember, everything happens in seasons, you know, and in the spiritual realm, seasons go for a long time, probably much longer than uh, most human lives, but a season is a season still. You must not curse your process. Be accountable of yourself, but do not curse your process. Because trust and believe. If the enemy is trying to take things away from you, I guarantee you the things that they are taking away from you is probably things you don't necessarily need. And if they con and just like what they like to constantly tell me, he's alone. He's he's by himself now. I'm telling you right now, you are never alone. Because you always have some energy that's near you. Whether it could be your ancestral, it could be your ancestors, it could be, you know, your guardian angels, it could be God, it could, you are never alone. And in today's day and age, when it comes to communication and stuff like that, you truly aren't alone. You just haven't connected with the person or the people that you need to connect to, connect with yet. You're never really alone. And sometimes if you find yourself alone, that's probably because you need to learn how to actually find joy even when you're alone. If you haven't found out how to find joy out of loneliness, and sometimes loneliness isn't always a bad thing. Sometimes loneliness is a good thing. You avoid a lot of things, a lot of negative things, just from being lonely. Lonely gets such a negative, you know, um, the word lonely has such a, you know, I, I mean, I, I feel like people put a negative connotation on it. You're never lonely. You're never, you're never, is it like, like, it's like, you're not necessarily you're not necessarily being, you're not necessarily in a bad position because you're alone. Some of the most strongest people in the world have gained their strength because they were alone. So the next time they try, if you get V2K, the next time they tell you that you're alone, 
telling that's good. Because I'm getting stronger in my lonesome. All right. Well, that's it for for now. Uh, just ran 50 minutes on this one. So, uh, hey, take life one breath, one thought, one step, one day at a time. Peace.